right, so those of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you know that uh, I've taken this thing camping on the ice before. I've truck camped, driven on the ice, and just gone fishing. Uh, today, I'm picking up Murray, and it's not gonna be quite that easy. Although, him and I could both probably fit back here. Um, that's not how we're gonna be camping today. I think the setup that we're gonna be using is gonna be pretty dialed. I'm kind of combining two worlds today. I'm combining the summer version of this truck and the winter version. This last spring, I put an awning on the side of my truck. One of the cool things about this awning is that you can buy a couple walls for it and legitimately turn it into a giant tent. In case you were curious, at 7.42 this morning, it is two degrees. Today it's actually supposed to get up to like 23 degrees, which... Oh, I almost did get stuck, huh? Nice. I got you a gift. Shut up. You got Kevin a gift. Yeah, I got you a gift. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin. Now I've somehow got to take all this gear and keep it in the truck, but make it disappear from this area. Fun. It's looking a little better. Don't make me do it. Well, then I don't know what I do. <laughs> Get some butterfly shop. I got something to say. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. We got way more crap back here than I thought we were gonna. I swear I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him here. Hola, senor. Are we going to the fishing spot now? Yeah. Finally, yeah. All right, uh, this is like the closest to the cities that I've driven yet this year. And it's kind of sketchy because we got 15 inches of good ice, but there's a lot of snow as you can see. 18 inches. 18 inches? 18 inches of snow. It's a lot of weight to have on the ice. Um, also a good, good thing to get stuck in so we're just gonna send it stay tuned <laughs> take, your seat belt off. take your seat belt off <laughs> 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 all right well that looks like fish right there though no all right, well, we found 19 feet of water. Apparently, that's where the fish are right now. So we're going to set up our truck house there. And unstrap this and this. Now watch this. It just goes whoosh. Spinning around town. Wow. And this goes all the way over here. All right. Well, here you got it. We got walls. So we got one, two, three walls. And I don't know which one goes where, so we're gonna be figuring it out together. There we go. With some snow, we'll probably be pretty good. It was 
black a bad color? Oh, tungsten? Which one do you got? No, it's like my favorite. Dude. dude. What? Look at that crappie. What? <laughs> First crappie of the night? It's just a 13 incher? That's a dandy, dude. We should measure it. Right here. Right here. 13? 13 inches. Just yeah. what I expected. 13 and a quarter. It's kind of cold in here. Yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> It's kind of like we're just outside. Yeah, pretty much. I'm well, pretty sure my phone just died from the cold, but I just got a crappie that's probably just about the same size as Murray's. Look at that guy. Dude, I can't believe you do this so much. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. People don't understand. No. How, like, it's freaking cold. Yeah? Yeah, that was the last look I got. a big old crappie. No way. Ooh, look at that. It's a dandy. Beauty. Catching some fish here and there. They're definitely being really finicky. It is. Like, this is really not warm. I haven't, like, I wasn't really expecting this. I wasn't expecting to have a giant hole there. And I kind of forgot. I honestly forgot about this. So, I'm sorry, Murray. This this should have been a little more comfortable. Live and learn. Live and learn. Fun. We are going to get cooking up on some food here. Hopefully, it warms up the tent a little bit um it's funny because the heater i can feel the heat like up here but not so much down here i brought flooring but it just seems kind of silly to put down flooring when there's over 10 feet of a gaping hole to the outside so with that in mind let's uh make today's meal yeah we're souping it up Look how sharp this is. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh, there's a draft in here. Oh wow. It's a fly, it's a giant. <laughs> Dude! It's like a 14 inch. That's a giant! Let's go. We're gonna let this one swim. Yeah. That's a brute. Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. Like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude! <laughs> what? Release on this guy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Carrots are so frozen. Okay. Yeah. So we're making a soup broth right now with the meat and the peas, and the bay leaves. And then we're gonna add all our veggies. It'll be great. Frozen veggies. We're gonna have a lot of soup, bud. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a lot, huh? Yeah. Maybe we should have made to, like half of that. Yeah, we still have to put sausage in it. That's a lot. That's good soup. <laughs> we could not have more of a full thing. All right, been working on the soup for like. Say 30 to 45 minutes. It's got to boil for like another 10 to 15. Couldn't come at a more perfect time. Bite's starting to slow down. It's cold. We got a lot of soup. Kind of just hang out here and maybe work our way into the truck at some point. Get some sleep. It's probably about 10 degrees out now.
I have to give a huge shout out to my Dutch subscribers, Mart Stolk and Max D. Lang for uh, this snart soup recipe. If you guys want to submit your own recipe, uh, go ahead and send them in at mavmadeit.com. I look over every single one and pick the best ones to make out on the ice or when I'm camping. What, what's the verdict? Do you like it? Is it hitting the spot? <laughs> Man That's of insane. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god, it's so good. Love it. Yeah. All right, dude. I'm I'm excited to take a bite. Can't really think of a better type of meal to have on the ice. Dude, the soup's insane. It slaps. It's hitting pretty hard right now. Soupy slapping. Soupy slapping. All right, so this is where Murray's sleeping tonight. I took the back seats out of this truck a long time ago. Um, I actually used to sleep on these seats uh, when I'd go on trips with buddies before. He's got some ice gear and stuff sitting right there. Um, he's got a nice inflatable pad here, but I also brought along a styrofoam one, or like a foam one that has reflective on it. Um, I'm running in my sleeping bag. This is a negative 20 degree bag. It's a uh, Thermarest brand one. Should keep him warm. He's got the thing absolutely caked and loaded with these giant like 14 hour hand warmers which are actually really nice and warm right now so it should be staying pretty warm back here you guys are familiar with how i camp back here pretty much the same thing i'm using murray's sleeping bag tonight it's a zero degree uh kelly sleeping bag and then we are going to be running the propane heater um on low i do have the carbon monoxide detector of course, as always, that uh, only detects higher levels of carbon monoxide. Yes, baby, I know. Um, so we're going to crack a window. This is Murray's first time truck camping with me in the winter. So it's kind of in for an adventure. Yeah, I kind of suck at cold, too. Yeah. So we're going to get our snow gear off and into the back of the truck. All right, we're back in the truck. Murray just got... In his bag. Oh, you got any cards or anything? <laughs> cards? Go, goldfish? Yeah, I gotta play goldfish. It's actually kind of cozy back here. Yeah. We're doubled up in the truck, brother. Doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my favorite. We got uh, Murray the necessities for tonight. <laughs> we just don't want to be going out in the cold to be answering when mother nature calls if i don't mix them up <laughs> middle of the night mary mary good morning sunshine <laughs> probably at least it's a warm out It's 9 a.m. and I think we're basically just gonna pack up and skadoodle. We're now gonna go grab some breakfast. Kind of recoup after last night. You got a you got a favorite spot here? The tent really didn't do much. You know, we we fail sometimes on this channel. Very rarely do we make the wrong decision, but we definitely made the wrong decision last. No regrets. No regrets. You guys want to check out his channel? It's in the description below, or you can just type in Fishing More. But as always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.